I was stuck in the house for a long time. Um, didn't really want to leave the house. Um, so I seen a like a post on Facebook to say that they were doing cooking lessons. I can cook, but I just wanted to get out of the house. So I ran up, um, kind of booked an appointment, and then yeah. So that's how I've come here. Tell us, you were telling us before. Tell us a little bit about your your bipolar, because you said that was the issue for you. Yeah, I had to stop taking my meds while I was pregnant with my daughter, because uh, there's not enough research done. So I obviously didn't want to harm the baby. So. I stayed in the house because I didn't want to set any of my triggers off. Um, I wanted to keep myself safe and my baby safe. Um, so yes, that's how I ended up staying in the house for so long. And then after I had Jasmine, um, I kind of got in a rut where I didn't want to leave the house, even though I was back on my meds. I didn't want to leave the house. I got so used to staying in the house. Um, but uh, I was starting to like get separation anxiety with me and my daughter. Like she was literally a limpet stuck to me <laughs> all the time so that's why I thought right no I need you know grow up get a get a grip leave the house so, so this was here and an opportunity and like you said you could cook already but they were offering a cooking course but how, how did that work how did you get yourself here oh my goodness me that was um <laughs> that was an event um so in the morning I set me on a ridiculous like five o'clock in the morning or something because I knew yeah. Um, I knew I was going to be taking forever to get ready. Um, so got up, got ready. A million scenarios went through my head. You know, what if Jasmine dies? What if I die? Like all these crazy irrational thoughts. Um, finally left the house, got to see the wood door and thought, I can't go in. Done a few laps around the building, quite a few. Um, got to the door, um, and just pulled myself together, went in. And she was like, oh, you Lindsay? I wanted to say, no, I've just got lost. Like, I wanted to run away, but I thought, no, I'll have to say I'm Lindsay. I was like, yeah, I'm Lindsay. Um, and then from then, I kind of just got arms around us, chucked in, and yeah, that's how I got here. So, what you said, it, it, it's been about getting you back in amongst it, mm -hmm. teaching you to, to almost, like, live a normal life again. Yeah, I would not have... If I'd stayed at home... I would have developed even more complications, more issues on top of what I've already got. Um, so if it wasn't for this place, then yeah, I would, I would be stuck in the house, walking what, in a corner. What would be your message to anyone who might might be in the situation you were? Um, give them a call. Give Tita with a call. Um, be brave. Be strong. There is so many people out there that are the same as us. Yes, we're not normal. We are crazy. Um, but you know what? All the best people are crazy. So just just get the help, the support out there. Give me a call. <laughs>